as always welcome back to the channel this is Austin code cipher and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create this cool looking select menu so as you can see on the left hand side I'm having this select menu with these names Austin code cipher wizzy and number so how I'm going to be showing you how you can create these cool nice looking menus so in case you're wondering whether what are these so these are tabs in case you miss the tutorials on how to create this please make sure you check out the videos on the channel they are available already so make sure you go and watch and see how we created all these tabs so i'm going to refresh this page and this menu is going to get lost so this is where we are going to be putting our menu and this layout one was made possible by the use of bootstrap and these are the links or files you're supposed to include in your project work or ed section these are the files the first one you write the jquery ui css then you include the jquery the real jquery and lastly you include the jquery dash ui the user interface javascript library so that's what you have to include and these are the codes for the other tabs and accordions so below here let's first go where we are going to write our select tag so we shall start by writing the select tag and i'm going to give this select tag an id id of select so you can name it any word you want so for me i have given it select and this is where i'm going to put the different options that are going to be displayed say option and i'm going to call the other one austin another option is going to be code another option is going to be cipher another option is going to be let me say Benedict. Another option is going to be number. So these are all names that are going to be displayed in our select menu. Another option is going to be another option is going to be Wizzy. So let me save this and preview it in our browser. By default, we are having this funny looking HTML select tool or select menu. It is having that hover of the blue color. So it can also work if at all you're going to be using it. So that's what we are having. Remember, we gave our select tag or element this ID of select. Now we go in our jQuery here. So we are inside this script tag, don't get lost. We are inside this custom script tag we created. And it's where we are putting all these. So for me, I always like to comment my work. As you can see this, that code for the tabs. And I'm going to say code, code for the select menu code for select menu and I'm going to write the dollar sign then we re we refer it to the tag we gave to the select element so we gave it an ID of select it's a select it's a dot and we say select menu so you pass this method to it select menu open parenthesis and end it with a semicolon so select menu and when we refresh our browser this is what we shall be having some nice fair looking <laughs> select menu but we can go ahead and style it we should include some with it so open curry brackets in between these parentheses open curry brackets drop down and we are going to put width and we are going to give it 200 pixels 
200 pixels and yeah it's fair looking nice but we don't want this first name to be selected first so we can drop in some other some new option at the top some new option at the top and we, you can leave it empty or put in something like choose choose and here we shall write an attribute selected equals selected so selected equals selected we will select that item to be displayed first in the select menu as you can see there is now choose when you enter and choose one they say auto code is chosen and when you enter it will be having that active class on it as you can see it's having that active class showing that it's the selected item in the select menu so as i told you this attribute selects the item to be displayed first let's say we want bendik to be displayed first we give him that attribute we give him that attribute and when we refresh you see bendik will be the first person to be displayed so we cannot let the user get that default setting on it so that one has to be the one having the select selected attribute so the user can see he choose drops down and chooses the name so guys i guess that's it for this tutorial please subscribe to the channel like the video share it on different social medias and make sure you check out these tutorials i made the tabs the accordions hey and more there are more more stuffs on the channel you can check out on the jquery ui so this was about creating this select menu i guess that's it subscribe once again don't forget to always include these files when you are working with jquery ui and please remember to put them in order jquery ui css comes first followed by the jquery file and lastly at the bottom or where you are stopping the script tag you add the jquery ui mini.js so that's it guys peace